Confidence is not when you feel motivated one day and can do stuff and then another day you can't. Confidence is not where you think you're gonna win no matter what and everything is gonna be great. None of these things has anything to do with confidence. What confidence really means is that you're able to do things no matter what and you know that you will be fine no matter what happens to you. That being if you're getting rejected, if people don't like you and if the situation doesn't go as planned then you will know that you will be okay no matter what. You will know that with putting in the right effort and time into this, then you will solve this and get out on the top. You might have experienced that one day you can go up and talk to a person very easily and one day you cannot. And then you confuse it with your confidence goes up and down, but that has nothing to do with confidence. If you really have self-confidence within yourself, then you're able to do it on the good days and also on the bad days. Then you go against what is going on in your mind and take action despite of these things. And a lot of people cannot take action when they are nervous or when they have too much going on in the head. So they just don't do anything. If you don't have confidence, it's just because you don't have enough experience yet. If you have a lot of experience here, then you will know how to go against your fears and know how to go up and talk to people despite of what you're feeling. People who have been working at gym for years, they are confident about doing the exercises and they feel good about it because they have gone through that process over and over again. But when you start at the gym, you're new, you're unfamiliar what to do and how to do the exercise properly. So you don't have that much confidence going to the gym. But once you put in the work, do the exercise. Also on the day you don't feel motivated, then you will learn how to be confident in a gym and working out. It's all about shifting your focus to the things that do work for you instead of focusing on the negative, instead of focusing on that you are not able to start a conversation, that you are not able to meet friends you can c connect easily with. If you focus on that, then it will be a really hard journey for you to get there. Instead, you should focus your things on positive things, things you have going for you, your strength. To make this simple, there are four steps you can follow to start becoming confident. The first step is face your fears. And this is a cliche, but it's true. When we experience fear, this is our body telling us something. It's a alarm system that protects us from harm. For example, stepping outside on a road and being hit by a car. But you also experience fear when there's something exciting happening to you. Or if there is an opportunity you really want, then you're feeling fear to do something about it. And it just means that there's something important for you that you need to act on. Step number two is to write down your fears and what you want to work on, because only then you can become aware of what are the things you need to work on and how you're going to overcome these challenges. Without any structure, it can be very difficult to know where to start and what to focus on. So write these things down because then you will have a clear standing point and where you need to start. And how you can overcome these things. Maybe you're afraid of starting conversations. Maybe you're afraid of public speaking. Maybe you're afraid of talking in group conversations. Reach out to people to become friends with. Getting out of your comfort zone. State out your opinion in group conversations. These are things you can work on when you become aware of what are the things you want to become confident in. Step number three, make a commitment, a real commitment where you decide from today that you want to work on this. A lot of people are making that mistake that they only rely on doing things when they feel like it, when they see an opportunity, which is why they are not confident in the first place. Because what they are really saying is, yeah, if I'm able to do it and I don't feel fear, I don't feel nervous and I don't feel anxious, then I'll do it. You need to make that commitment from your home, otherwise nothing will happen. And you need to make a real commitment. That could be telling a friend about it. Give your friend some money and say, if I don't talk with three people a week, then you can keep the money. Or hire a coach who can help you and guide you through the process. Anything like that. Without a commitment in any form, then you will not succeed. And step number four is to kaizen the whole process. Meaning building small habits. Commit to consistent improvements over a longer period of time. That means working on your fears every day and not just on the days you feel like it. You can kaizen almost everything. If you're committed to do it, 
to put in the work and to work on this every day. So this is the way you can become confident really fast. If you have a commitment to the Kaizen approach and if you know what to focus on, put yourself out there and start conversation. Having small conversations where you ask for directions, give a compliment, ask for opinions. Once that becomes easier, then you commit to have a more of a five minutes conversation. And when you're able to do that, then you can have a full conversation where you also can connect with them on social media so you can meet up with them in the future. Building small habits each day, week after week, and make it a little bit more difficult each time so you don't rely on feeling good about yourself before taking action. Now take action today in small steps each day over a longer period of time. And within three to four weeks, you will be way more confident than you are right now. I promise you that. Important is don't compare yourself to others. Compare yourself to yourself. Compare yourself to how you were doing maybe one week ago or one month ago. Only then you will see how far you come and see what have you been able to do you can start taking action on the small things that you need to be working on. If you like this video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe because there will be a lot more videos here on this channel in the future. I hope you like this video. If you do, you might want to check this video out. This will really help you out as well. If you want to get in touch with me and if you want to get results, then you could book a free consultation call with me where we talk more about your situation. What are the things you are going to work on? What are the challenges you find it difficult to overcome? And how can we develop an action plan for you? I've talked with a lot of people so far and I helped a handful of my clients developing social skills and building social circles and making friends. So if that's something for you, then click the link in the description and book a free consultation call. So maybe talk very soon and see you in the next video.